Before we get into the video, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Goodwall. So Goodwall is free to use, free to download. Feel free to check it out. I'm going to have a way that you guys can connect with me and ask me questions on Goodwall, so stay tuned for that. On Goodwill, you can create your personal profile to showcase your achievements, skills, and ideas all in one place. It's basically your personal website that will help you stand out. Goodwill is great for finding inspiration by browsing your personalized feed based on interests, and you can celebrate other people's achievements while they help you celebrate yours. It's a perfect platform to discover hand-picked opportunities, anything from scholarships to internships and jobs, which is perfect for any college student. You can find me on Goodwill and check out the achievements I added. So to get connected with me, click the link in the description. I'm going to have two different forums. One is a Q&A forum where I'm going to try and answer as many of you guys' questions as possible. And the other forum is all about studying, whether it's resources you have, your experience with studying, cute study pictures you've taken, anything like that, you guys can get connected. Thank you again to Goodwill for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get connected with me and start your Goodwill profile. And with all that being said, let's get into the vlog. Hey my dudes, it's Caitlin, and today we are going to be doing another college vlog in the basement cave because classes are online now. I live in the basement cave, by the way. <laughs> I am going to take you either through the next couple days or the whole week, haven't decided yet, of my online class endeavors and everything I'm doing to keep up with my online classes and I'm excited to show you guys um, I've been really nervous that these vlogs have been like way too boring but you guys said that it still motivates you and makes you want to be productive so I'm doing my job <laughs> so I'm really happy that it's still motivating you guys to be productive today I just have my animal behavior um, zoom lecture from 1240 to 2 that is my only like zoom obligation today but I have a lot of stuff to do because I do have an exam on Wednesday for animal behavior and I need to get caught up in orgo and I don't know I just have a lot of stuff to do so there won't be a lack of things to do in this vlog um, I've been studying so much I've been like what do I study anymore <laughs> so um, I'm I think I'm really prepared for animal behavior and I'm glad <laughs> that I'm like over prepared and then um, for orgo not much has happened with orgo so before we get started don't forget to follow the instagram on the screen and check out my new merch that just came out and with all that being said let's get into the vlog apollo says good morning and he's ready to get to studying he's being a little frisky today <laughs> spazzing out and stuff say hello apollo apollo's getting fat and happy he loves the quarantine because I get to spend all day with him. So it's Monday and my desk gets pretty dirty over the weekend. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and then get started on online classwork. Okay, so I'm going to watch Stephanie Harlow's true crime video. And at the same time, I'm going to take some Orgo lecture notes that I'm a little behind on. So I'm pretty much all caught up, but I just wanna not focus on animal behavior before animal behavior, just because I'm about to spend an hour and 20 minutes on it. And I'll probably study more for animal behavior after. So I'm just gonna get a little more organic chemistry done. Hey guys, I made an egg sandwich and I'm eating that. And there is um, seven minutes before my lecture, so I'm sitting on Zoom waiting. And then I'm gonna take my lecture notes until two o'clock.
Okay guys, I left the meeting like an hour early because I've been waiting for a prescription since the 22nd and it's now the 30th and it just got filled. And I wanna pick it up before the pharmacy closes in case they close early. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then um, I'll just have to finish these lecture notes when they're uploaded online. Um, it's not too big of a hit. I'd rather, I suggest, recommend <laughs> um, attending your lecture in real time but if it's not possible, hopefully your professor uploads a recorded lecture because then that works out pretty good. I'm just gonna have to like make myself accountable and make sure I get that lecture done. Okay guys, so it's 1.30, I got my prescription. I'm having a hard time focusing, which just happens sometimes. Um, I haven't done much today, but sorry my hair is crazy, but um, I just am, like I said, having a hard time focusing. So I think I'm gonna paint for a little bit just to get back into like focus and take a short break from school since I've literally been doing school every day all day. So I'm gonna paint for a little bit, paint some flowers. I'm not very good at painting yet. Um, haven't done much of it, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to get back to schoolwork because I just need a break from school for a second. <laughs> Okay, it's 2.45. I'm done with doodling because this flower turned out horrible, but the lavender turned out cute. So I'm gonna get back to studying. Basically, I think I'm gonna try to make my first mind map. The section I'm having the hardest time on is navigation with animal behavior. So I'm gonna try and make a mind map about navigation, clarify some terms that I'm unsure about, and just make an overall map about it. This is just a regular sized piece of printer paper. Usually mind maps are bigger, so I've never made a mind map before. I looked up some videos on how to do it, so I'm gonna try my best. Either way, I'm studying the material so it'll be beneficial and we'll see how long this takes. still watching true crime i finished my first mind map and it's pretty dense um it's all about navigation and i used my book notes and my lecture notes to compile all the information about navigation because according to my active recall spreadsheet that you guys saw in my study with me video this is like my weakest subject for this next exam that's in two days 
So I think that this really helped me. I finally figured out what a couple terms were. And now I'm going to probably take my quizzes for this class that include a quiz on navigation. I have two quizzes to do before tomorrow at five. So the two quizzes I have to take are just based off completion, just to give us practice for the exam. So I'm gonna take them blindly and just try to use my knowledge to answer them because it doesn't matter how well I do on them. And then the keys will be uploaded tomorrow. And then I need to combi compile a list of all the quiz questions and the answers um, to study those for the exam and see what I got wrong and stuff because these questions might even appear on the exam. The quizzes are just supposed to help us so i'm gonna take the quizzes really quick and then show you guys me compiling them into like a master list of quiz questions that may be on the exam finished my quizzes and now I'm going to get to putting them all into one document so I can practice them and know them for the exam. So here's the keys for the quizzes and I'm going to export this and put it into Notability on my iPad, highlight and take notes on certain things that I'm unsure about or mark ones that I got wrong to make sure that I understand why I got them wrong and things like that. And I'm basically going to annotate this and add any extra information about the certain topic that I'm looking at for each question. so I feel pretty satisfied with how much I've studied for animal behavior today. My exam isn't for another two days um, and I just am sort of bored of studying it so I'm gonna move back to organic chemistry. If you guys want to see my study techniques for this exam check out my study with me video that I just posted um, last week and it'll show you like active recall techniques and stuff like that. I pretty much did all that so now I'm just doing like extra stuff <laughs> to try and prepare. And yeah, let's move on to organic chemistry. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching so, so much. And I appreciate all of your support and helping me hit 50,000 subscribers. You guys don't know how much that means to me. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if you made it to the end of the video. And if you did, thank you very much for watching. And finally, I apologize for my appearance in this vlog, but I really don't care. <laughs> so I love you guys with all of my heart and I'll see you next week in another video. Peace out guys.